Then I want to challenge you to ask one of the most important questions you can ever ask yourself. And that's, how well am I actually doing this? See, there's a gap between what we know and what we do. It's called a performance gap. And it is literally the gap between what we know we're supposed to do every single day and what we actually do every single day. And in order for you all to continue to be high performers, in order for you to get each of your stores to the one, two, and three million dollar mark, you have to close that gap. You have to start doing the things that you know you're supposed to do. And once you've been able to do that for yourself, then you need to make that contagious and make sure everybody on your team can close that gap and do the things that you know you're supposed to do. The first relationship is one that is most often overlooked and unfortunately undervalued because it is the most important one. And it's the relationship that you have with yourself. Are you self-aware? Are you self-disciplined? <laughs> when you make a mistake or things don't go your way, do you have self-compassion and are you able to move to the next play? But more important than that, do you make the time to fill your bucket mentally, physically, emotionally, or spiritually, if appropriate to you? Do you make the time to fill your bucket so that you show up to your store every single day as the best version of yourself? See, if you don't, if you make the choice not to fill your bucket first and you show up as anything other than your best self, two things. One, that's actually an act of selfishness. You are giving you and your team less of a chance to be successful because you've made the conscious choice not to show up as your best self. And you also drastically reduce the chance that you're able to hit the goals that you've set of becoming a one, two, or three million dollar store. So it's vital that you do everything you can to fill your bucket first. There's an old adage that's been around a lot longer than I've been around that says you can't pour anything out of an empty cup which means if your cup is empty, you have nothing to give those on your team or those that you serve and your customers. So you have to fill your bucket first. And that's why this is the bottom of the pyramid. Then the next are the members of your team. And I know some of you have smaller teams, some of you have larger teams, but even if it's two people, that's still considered a team. And I wanna ask you, are you doing everything that you can to empower the members of your team, to support them, to assist them, to fill their buckets, to take friction off of their plate? Are you doing everything you can as a leader to allow them to become the best versions of themselves? And then the last part is usually the most obvious to anyone in business, and that's gonna be your customers. Are you doing everything you can to not make assumptions on what your customers need, but to actually ask insightful questions and listen to their feedback? Are you listening to the problems and the issues they have and then making sure that you have a customized resolution or at least customized in perception? Each and every customer that comes in needs to feel like that you care about them, not care about their wallet or their bank account. And you do that by using emotional intelligence to build that bridge and to show them that you care. One thing that is vital for us to understand, in 2020, customer and consumer expectations are through the roof. And the reason they're through the roof is because of companies like Amazon. You guys realize, right now, each of you could pull out your phones, order something on Amazon, if you have Amazon Prime, and depending on what you ordered, it could be at your hotel room before the dinner tonight, like talk about high expectations. And while you all aren't necessarily in direct competition with Amazon, you are always in direct competition with others that are raising the bar when it comes to customer experience. Which means people will come to you all now at your stores and they have an inflated expectation from service to product to everything that you all offer. And in order to continue to separate yourselves so that you all continue to be the best in class, you have to raise your game to meet those expectations. So we can't forget how important these three relationships are.